fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. Do you watch your ass? I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight. All right, we got a new band to the channel here. This is a request from Heath Kime. Heath wanted to watch me react to Stone Temple Pilots with their song Dead and Bloated. Uh, yeah, making their debut. I haven't I haven't watched any Stone Temple Pilots on the, on the channel yet. Now. Have I heard of Stone Temple Pilots? Of course, of course I've heard of them. Have I heard any songs by them? I've heard a few, I've heard a couple. To be perfectly honest with you, um, nothing I've heard from them really impressed me all that much. There was one song, there was one song I thought was kind of catchy, uh, Vaseline. I, I heard that song and I thought that was kind of, that from a melodic standpoint, I, I felt the song was very catchy and I, I dug the song. I dug that song, but nothing else from them really grabbed me. Nothing else really hooked me. I heard the other songs and I'm just like, eh, eh, I don't know about that. So now this song, Dead and Bloated, have I heard this song before? To the best of my knowledge, no, I, I have not. As far as I know. Now look, as always, if I start to listen to the song and I go, oh yeah, oh yeah, I recognize that song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. All right, so this was posted by Stone Temple Lover. Okay, so Stone Temple Lover. Uh, and the video has 26,225 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Cause here we go. All right, here we go. Stone Temple Pilots, Dead and Bloated. Reading 1993, so reading, oh, festival. That's right, the reading festival. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I am nice. Great groove, great groove, heavy, heavy groove. Um, I'm digging this. I'm absolutely digging this. Song's not complex, but I can stretch the imagination. Uh, from a chordal standpoint, anyway, it, it it's a pretty simple song, but the groove is so good. It, it's got such a heavy, especially on the backbeat. That do do ba do 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 ba. It's just so good, so good. Um. The lead singer is doing a really good job here. Uh, I like a lot of his 
his versatility with his voice he, he gets he gets a little grungy a little a little grimy a little gritty and then he gets super clean and then it goes back to gritty just a, not and the thing is his grittiness isn't even really i wouldn't even really i don't even know gritty is really the right word it just it gets a little a little raspy which is good but then he gets super clean but it's never overdone it's just just enough to make it different. Just enough to have that little bit of a difference between the two. And it's cool. Showing that versatility. Always a good thing. All right, let's back it up 10 seconds and let's keep going. pause right there i like what he's doing vocally right there i really do it's clean it's got those swells from a dynamic standpoint and he's got that little bit of a a lift in the voice getting up to the next pitch just a little bit a little little bit of a little bit of a what, what is that a, not a hook it's a it's not a swell a slur a little bit of a slur Shoop, up there it's not in a way that would tell me that he can't find the note. He does. I mean, a lot of people do that. A lot of people will slur their their pitch so they can find the note. I don't think he's having a hard time finding the note. He's doing it. I have a feeling just to get an extra feel into the song, just you know, for for effect. And nothing wrong with that as long as that's the reason you're doing it for. Now, if you're doing it because you can't find your pitch and you're slurring so you can help find your pitch, that's a problem. You need to you need to work on finding your pitch easier. So. But not this guy. This guy's doing a great job. He, like I said, I think he's doing it for effect only. Great, great effect. Um, let's back it up 10 seconds and let's keep going. I would go as far as to say this is great, but this is definitely a very good song. Like, very good. Really good. Um, I love the chunkiness. And coming out of that bridge, when they did that little instrumental breakdown, it was just... Yeah. Yeah. Super heavy. Super thick. Super crunchy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
and then seamlessly right into, boom, another chorus. Structurally, this song is very simple. I, I don't, I'll get into all that at the end. Uh, let's finish this out, and then I'll get to my closing statements here. Let's go back 10 seconds, and let's finish this out. overall performance great job guys well there you go folks that was stone temple pilots with dead and bloated uh live from reading festival in 1993 this was a request from heath kime and on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give this a 7.8 yeah 7.8 i feel good with that score let me tell you why why okay so First and foremost, did this blow my mind? No, didn't blow my mind. Um, the song itself was actually pretty simple uh, from a chordal, uh, chordal standpoint, and even from a structure standpoint too. It was pretty simple. Look, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, chorus. Two choruses at the end. Um, wasn't difficult, wasn't hard to figure out, pretty simple. Um, a guitar solo would have been nice. We didn't get it, but that's okay. I don't think the song needed it. It's not like the song was like depending on, you know, whether or not there was a guitar solo or not. I would have personally liked to have heard a guitar solo, but you know, that's just me. Um, this was not a bad performance at all. This was actually a really good performance uh, for a really good song. Now, would I go as far as to say the song was great? Not quite. I, I wouldn't say great, but it was really good. Like, really good. I really enjoyed it. I love that heavy feel, that, that drop feel, uh, that, uh, that crunchiness in the guitar tone. Uh, very heavy drumming. Like, the guy was committing a hate crime on those drums. He was banging on those drums hard, which is perfectly fine with me. I don't mind that whatsoever. You know, just be, be prepared to go through heads like crazy. I could actually hear the bass on this and the bass sounded good. Uh, it had a nice little bit of crunch to it, just a tiny little bit to make it stand out. Um, just make the, make it rattle a little bit, which is nice. Uh, I have a question why the bass player was going up to the mic and singing because I couldn't hear him at all. Uh, the lead vocalist was doing all the vocal work. But I saw the bass player go up to the mic on the choruses on the on the first and the third line, singing the the line, and I'm I'm curious as to why because I couldn't hear him at all. Now, was that because FOH wasn't doing their job? Wouldn't surprise me. You know, it would be the first time we've seen FOH mess up. So, I don't blame the band for that. I don't blame the band for it, and it doesn't. Affect, it's not going to affect the score at all. I'm just I'm just a little curious as to if does anybody know what happened there? You know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, seven point eight I think is a great score, and for a not a, a not a great score, it's a really good score for a really good song. Now, for those of you that are you know Stone Temple Pilot fans and saying, "Hey, you you graded that too low," yeah, that was a terrible score. No, it wasn't. A terrible score would be like a two, or yeah, a, a two or a one. That was, those those are terrible, horrible scores. You don't want those. No, a 7.8 is actually a really good score. You don't believe me? Look down below. Look, look at my scoring chart in the description. You'll see 7.0 is the threshold for really good. This is 0.8 higher than that. Every point up means it's just a little bit better than really good. So, not quite great, but really, really close. So, a really good score for a really good song. 7.8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. 
If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.